have you ever looked at the Great Pyramid of Giza and just wondered, how? We're talking about 2.3 million massive stone blocks, each weighing an average of 2 to 3 tons. To put that into perspective, that's like lifting a car, but doing it over 2 million times and all without modern cranes or even iron tools. So, what was their secret? For a long time, the most popular theory has been ramps. It sounds simple enough, right? Just build a giant ramp and drag the stones up, but what kind of ramp? Some Egyptologists suggest a long straight ramp extending from the quarry directly to the pyramid. The problem with this idea is that for a pyramid over 480 feet tall, the ramp would have to be incredibly long over a mile and would require almost as much material as the pyramid itself. That just doesn't seem practical. So other theories emerged. What about a zigzag ramp, like a switchback trail on a mountain? This would save space, but making those sharp turns with multi-ton blocks would be a logistical nightmare. Imagine trying to pivot a car on a narrow mountain path. It would be incredibly difficult and dangerous. This leads us to another fascinating idea. A spiral ramp that corkscrewed around the outside of the pyramid as it was being built. This solves the length problem of the straight ramp and the turning problem of the zigzag one. There's even some physical evidence like a strange void discovered in the pyramid that might support this theory. It could have been the internal corridor for the ramp. But even the spiral ramp theory has its critics. It would have covered the corners and sides of the pyramid, making it impossible for the builders to ensure the structure was perfectly aligned and symmetrical as they went up. And we know the Egyptians were masters of precision. So, while ramps are the most likely answer, the exact method remains one of history's greatest unsolved mysteries. Did they use a single method or a combination of different techniques? Maybe they used water lubricated sledges, levers, or something we haven't even thought of yet. The debate continues, which is what makes ancient Egypt so endlessly captivating.